Okay, so hi everybody. Today's video, I am going to be talking about the latest figure skating drama. Yes, you heard that right. Today, we're going to be talking about the World Figure Skating Championships about Mariah Bell and Lim Ensu. So most of you guys might have already heard about this and most of you guys might not even know what I'm talking about. But if you guys want to hear more about this subject, keep on watching. And if you guys don't want to hear a lot of drama and complaining, just you should probably click off of this video. So let's get started with this video. <laughs> let's get started with this. So this drama occurred at the World Figure Skating Championships this year, 2019, and it's about Mariah Bell, a US figure skater who's 22 years old, and Lim Ensu, a Korean figure skater who is 16 years old. So they both have the same coaches, they train at the same ring, and this happened during the practice size for their short program. So this is before they competed with their short program. So Mariah Bell was skating her short program, she was like warming it up and doing it run through with the music, and Lim and Sue, she stood next to the ice, like she was skating next to the board near the wall of the ice, so that in like very slowly, so that she would be able to get out of Mariah Bell's way. And Mariah Bell, she skated right next to the board, and when she turned around, her skate um stabbed um Lim and Sue in her shin, like the back of her leg. And Mariah Bell, apparently, she kept on skating without apologizing to Lim Ensu. But the Korean Figure Skating Society, like, made a claim onto Mariah Bell that they, they think that she did it purposely, but there is, like, no evidence that she did it on purpose, but there's no evidence that she didn't do it on purpose. So, like, really right now, the only figure skater who knows the truth about what happened is Mariah Bell. So... Yeah. <laughs> I feel like this is just really like drama because I don't feel like Mariah Bell would really do anything on purpose to hurt one of her like fellow competitors because she seems very nice and she always is like a great skater and I love watching her. She's always so graceful and beautiful. But I don't feel like she would actually purposely try to hurt somebody. But after Korea made the claim, the Korean Figure Skating Society made the claim, ISU looked over like the practice ice video and they didn't find anything that Mariah Bell did wrong and I also feel like that she didn't do anything wrong and yeah. <laughs> Later that day, Lim Ensu and Mariah Bell, they both competed in the short program. They both did clean programs. Lim and Sue ended in fifth place, and Mariah Bell ended in sixth place. And from the pictures that they show of Lim and Sue skating, she has a bandage on her calf. It's like one of those small, like square bandages that you have. And also from, I feel like it would just be a scratch because if you really got a cut, you would like wrap it up in like the hospital white tape or whatever so that it wouldn't like keep bleeding through because bandages are really thin and it could just bleed through and go through your tights and everything and that wouldn't be good and also if you watch a vid if you watch the video slowly again you would notice that Lim and Sue reacted to the scratch a couple seconds after Mariah Bell skated by and that's when she like reacted and felt the pain so usually when you get scratches in figure skating or like anywhere you feel the pain after you scratch yourself like a couple seconds because it's happened to me and my friends multiple times like I've gone up into a jump and like I've come out and I had a scratch from nowhere and I have no idea where it came from or like you go up into a jump and like your heel or toe pick might accidentally like scratch your other leg what in the air and then when you come get off of the ice and you're taking off your skates that's when you actually start feeling the pain because it takes a couple seconds to like get into your like service or something and it that's when it starts hurting but as you can watch from the video i feel like it was just a scratch because the men who reacted like after mariah bell skated past her and also if you look at the picture again the band-aid it doesn't show any blood so like if she was actually bleeding that bad then the bandages sometimes show that the blood like through the little pad that they have on it it sometimes bleeds through that 
and you, this bandage that's on her leg seems pretty clean and you can't really see any blood through it. So they are claiming that Mariah Bell used to like, well, is bullying, was bullying um, Lemensu while at the rink and they were claiming that and then Adam Rippon stepped in and said that Adam Rippon is like Mariah Bell's choreographer and he's never seen any bullying going on because like he's in the same locker room as them and everything and he's never seen like Mariah Bell actually bullying Lemensu or trying to hurt her so I feel like this is kind of just like a rumor or something and that they feel like they have to make it even more dramatic just for more people to like believe that she did this on purpose. So many people are starting to compare this like incident or accident to the Tanya Harding attack. I feel like this is nothing to do with the Tanya Harding attack because that was on purpose. It was like they attacked Nancy Kerrigan, like hit her in her knee so that she couldn't compete. And Nancy, after that, Nancy Kerrigan had to take two weeks off so that she could recover completely before she could skate again. Af after this, like, accident or incident, Lim and Sue could, was able to compete the same afternoon, and she didn't have to take any time off. Well, she had to take time off of, like, the practice ice because she had to get off of the ice so that she could, like, get it, like, bandaged and stuff so that it wouldn't keep on bleeding or something. But after that, she was fine, and she skated a clean program. Also, if you kind of look at the video, if you keep in mind that when you're actually trying to hit somebody, like, on purpose, then, like, that's what's going on in your brain, and, like, your facial expressions and everything that you do is kind of, like, focused on that one specific person or something that you're trying to hit. So if you watch the video again, Mariah Bell isn't like really focused on Lemensu. Like she's like doing her program and she's really focused on her music and everything and she's like really into it and like she's Lemensu's like over here and she's skating this way and she's literally looking over here. She's not even looking at Lemensu. Also, if you take a look at also, she's like skating on a perfect edge. It's not like she's trying to swivel her edge over to Lamentu like just to hit her or something because if you're trying to hit somebody you would literally be like I need to get over to that person or something like you can't make a straight edge and Mariah Bell doesn't do that at all so I feel like this was more of an accident also in these like world championships on practice sizes you're not allowed to like play your music more than once because if you do your program and your music is going to it you can't stop in the middle of your program and like to like say sorry to somebody because then you can't do your program and she was like focused on getting her program clean and that's probably the reason why she wasn't able to say sorry to Lim and Sue but it's also kind of weird that after she did com after she did finish her program that she didn't say sorry so Lim and Sue apparently made a like complained that Mariah Bell didn't say sorry to her but af before they were competing their short program they did wish good luck to each other so that is also something so on Mariah Bell's Instagram account she disabled the comment section because she was getting a lot of negative and hate comments from her fans and stuff, her past fans probably. And if you check out Lim and Sue's Instagram account, she's getting all of these comment, positive comments that say, stay strong, you deserve better. Don't let anyone try to bring you down in the future. Get well soon. Hope you're okay. I'm rooting for you, stay strong. I hope you're doing well. And she has all these positive comments. Mariah Bell is receiving all of these hate comments, which I feel like that she personally doesn't like deserve these because she's so nice and she's like very like she's a such a great skater and like it's always so much fun to watch her and all of these hate comments are coming from some of her old past friend um fans that might have went over to Lemensu's side and I just feel like that she doesn't really deserve to get all of this hate because even though she this might have just been an accident, she still is a great skater overall. 
So I found the video of the incident on Instagram and many people are commenting some things that I kind of agree with. Like this one person wrote, Mariah is just running her program. She's not going to stop to apologize. She's practicing. Besides, it looks like she didn't even notice anything happened. People are just creating drama to cause problems. Mariah is a sweetheart and would never do anything to harm anyone on purpose. And there is this other one that I think is kind of funny, but I also agree with a lot because she wrote, I just think it's funny how big of a deal people are making this. Really, she slashed someone's leg on purpose when they're both fighting for eighth place. No one is that dumb. It's kind of funny, but it's also kind of true because let's see so <laughs> so Mariah Bell ended up in ninth place overall and and Lim and Sue ended in 10th place overall so none of them really got a place either so I mean why would they fight if it was probably first place then I would understand it just a tiny bit more but still not as much because why would somebody try to hurt one of their competitors just so that they would be able to win first place that's not like good sportsmanship or that wouldn't be fair to anybody another person wrote this that um nope not even close Nancy Kerrigan was left with injuries that took two weeks to heal Enzo wore a band-aid, not minimizing what happened, just saying that the two situations were not on the same level of severity, which is also true because she was able to skate the same afternoon and Nancy Kerrigan had to take time off to get healed. So this is definitely not like comparable to what happened with Tanya Harding and Nancy Kerrigan. So there's also this other comment that I just found. It says, with the number of times other skaters have run into me, from not judging space properly or just not looking where they're going. I think this is an accident and I totally agree with this person because like there are many people on a practice ice and there's not that much space to move around even though you can't really see other people. Um, in these higher level competitions, programs are like mandatory like to come next to the wall just because they have to fill up the whole ice space and Accidents happen and many skaters do run into each other and it's happened to me many times as well So I am so sorry for both of these skaters I'm sorry for Lim and Sue because she got injured and I'm also very sorry for Mariah Belt because she's a great skater And she doesn't deserve all of this hate um and also all these people who are hating on her they're just assuming some things from a video and you can't just assume something from a video because you never know what was going on in Mariah's head or like what were her intentions and anything like what she actually wanted to do. So I feel sorry for both of these skaters a lot. So something like this has also happened to me before. I was seven years old at the time I think and I was competing at a competition it was also it was um, in a practice ice as well. Me and another skater, we were skating backwards, doing back of crossovers, and we weren't looking behind us, which was kind of stupid of us. But we crashed into each other, and her like blade cut my arm. I still have the scar from what happened. I was like nothing happened to her. She was fine, but I got cut in my arm, and I had to get seven stitches. I was in the hospital. And I wasn't able to compete that day. It was my shirt program that day and I wasn't able to compete. Um, but the next day I was re I was good and I was able to compete that day. And I had to wrap up my arm and everything in like that white dot, like hospital bandages and everything to make sure that it was all good and stuff. And that day was my long program. When she came over and b right before I was about to step onto the ice to compete, she came over to me and asked me if I was all right. And she said that she was sorry for everything that happened. And I said that I was fine. But it's not like I was blaming her or anything that she like tried to hurt me like so that she would win or something. Because we both understood that it was just like an accident. And we knew that it, accidents happen and that this stuff could happen anytime, at any place, at any moment of figure skating because it's such a dangerous sport. But everything's fine and yeah. This is the end of the video. In my opinion, I feel like that this whole 
incident was just an accident. I don't feel like Mariah Bell did it on purpose to hurt Lim and Sue, but I do feel sorry for both of the skaters for what happened. And I also am happy that both of the skaters were able to compete and skate clean programs. So that is also good. But I want to hear you guys' opinion on this accident or incident. What you guys think, was this an accident or was this more of like Mariah Bell wanted to hurt her like it was on purpose? Anyways, also don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. I love you guys. Bye!